Well, this year's posed some challenges for farmers in their probably makes them have a need to think outside the box a bit, you know, instead of doing our traditional pasture and hay only type situations. Uh, the corn crop's obviously not what people want it to be, so there's silage options. You know, there's been a lot of work done by university folks with oats and rye. As far as annual forages, we can plant to get supplemental feed for the winter months. Uh, just the old standby practice of stockpiling where we can put on nitrogen in late summer, early fall to, to get some extra grass growth going into the winter. Uh, those are time-tested things we can do to add feed to just any operation. Obviously this year the hay production has been down due to the drought and the quality of the hay quite frankly wasn't all that good as we've tested some of it. So as we get into fall we're finding a lot of corn in the fields that aren't going to yield a lot of grain and they can be made into corn silage and it's a, it's a great opportunity to gather up a lot of feed, a lot of high quality feed on not a whole lot of acres. We're getting lots of questions this year from people who have not done corn silage before. How can I do it? I don't have a silo. Well, the ag bag system or the bagging system for fermenting corn silage came about several years ago and it's an excellent option for people who don't have silos. Uh, basically, you can put down a bag any place that you've got the space. Uh, if you've got gravel to put it on, that would provide a solid surface for when it's fed out, but it's really not necessary. It can be put on any vacant area. The feed is brought to the bag, it's bagged there, it's forced into the bag with the bagger process. It's allowed, sealed up, allowed to ferment, and we know guys that have stored this silage for as long as two years before they fed it. We use silage every year. It's, we feel it's the most efficient, one of the most efficient feeds. Normally what we've changed up this year from previous years is normally we relied heavily on sorghum sedan grass to mix with distiller's grains to feed our cattle and this year the drought was intense enough that we didn't our sorghum sedan grass is not really looking that good right now and we've got to harvest something to feed. You know a year like this will make us think about where we're at in our operations in a typical year and we are typically blessed with 40 to 45 inches of rainfall in Ohio. We, we've had the luxury historically of having enough feed but if you look at some of our production that we do get off of our forages, I don't feel like we're getting quite enough production. So maybe some of these out of the box type ideas, whether it's silage or annual forages such as oats and rye, uh, I think the key for any operation is to get as much production as we can off of an acre. And just typical management we've done over the years with hay production may not be good enough. We may need to look at some different options.